Hey guys, welcome back to No Catchy Name. It's me, Ella. Today is Saturday, June the 18th. Today would have been my dad's birthday if he were still alive. He died of cancer in 2013, January 27th. That's the reason I didn't want my baby to be born on January 27th. She ended up being born on January 26th, which is good for me. But uh, anyways, so he would have been 57 today if he were still alive. He died of esophageal cancer. But anyways, <laughs> I just wanted to say that. It has nothing to do with what I'm talking about today. It's just, yeah. Anyways, lighting's weird because the sunlight's coming through and I didn't want to clean my table off to put my good tripod. Oh, Lord, now you can see all my junk. <laughs> There's stuff everywhere. Oh, if you can see my table. <laughs> anyways, okay, today, that's not what this is about. Today I'm sharing my pattern I finished. It's not my pattern. Pattern I've been working on. But it's a tank top. Can you see the, the straps? <laughs> I'm so excited. I'm a little nervous because... I'm not used to showing like everything <laughs> but the pattern is called the lacy tank top by the lavender chair and it is a free pattern on their website and i also noticed today i was on ravelry looking around and they put out another one it's the same basic pattern but the the part that hangs down <laughs> is different looking it's like a fan stitch so i favorited that and that might go on my to make list in the future but i did use a j hook which is a six millimeter I actually used a Susan Bates soft grip, which is my favorite kind of hooks right now, and Clover Moore's. I'll link it down below if you want to check it out. Uh, and I used Red Heart Super Saver uh, Ombre, which is a worsted weight acrylic, and the color is called Violet. And I made the extra large size. Uh, but yeah, so I'm going to stand up so you guys can see it. I think it looks good. Let me make sure I don't flash you at all. Okay, I, got, I got stuff everywhere. Lord. Lord mercy. Okay, there it is. It's kind of uh, cropped, kind of, and there's also a tail somewhere that I didn't weave in. I felt it a minute ago. There it is. <laughs> there's some more woven in, but uh, that's it. Isn't that cute? I like it. This is one row shorter than it's supposed to be because I ran out of yarn, and I didn't want to open my other ball to um, finish this because I would have had to pull it out to this color, and I didn't want to do that. The straps are actually made with the second ball, so this is one whole ball except for... A little tiny scrap ball um, that wouldn't do a whole row and then I did open my other ball to make the straps because I didn't want the straps you know I needed more yarn and I didn't want to start with this lighter purple down here if that makes sense I love the way it's like dark and goes into the light and then goes dark again I just think it's so cute it looks like a um, baby doll top kind of I like it I think it's cute so I do have to weave in that one tail Whatever it's at right there. <laughs> and I tried to put the seam on like the side so it's not as obvious. Um, and then the straps. The only thing I would say negative about the pattern is they don't tell you where to put straps. It just says sew straps on. <laughs> so what I did is I put the shirt on like a tube top. And I stood in front of my mirror. And I took some stitch markers, that, the ones that look like safety pins. And I held, the, you know, I put straps on my shoulder to where I thought they should go. And then I, I marked two spots on the top you know on both sides to where I think the strap should go and then I just sewed them on there and then I laid it flat and sewed them on the back in the same way so there's the back of it I am wearing a cami under it because it's crochet so it's got holes and I don't like to you know uh, the only people who should be seeing too much of my body is my husband so but I think it's cute I was afraid it wasn't gonna fit but it fits pretty good you know it's crochet so it stretches and these looked short too but you know i know crochet stretches so it's nice and good i like it but i think it's so cute it's like a little dress <laughs> you could also make it longer if you wanted to you could keep going and make it a dress wear something under it you know like a slip or something do, do they even make those anymore <laughs> bodysuit i don't know but i like it it's good for someone who has a baby shaped belly because it just makes it look like it's hanging off of your bust you know so it, it's flattering, I guess I would say. It's flattering. I like it. I really wish this was the pink color. I'm going to have to get the pink um, ombre and remake it because I love pink. Oh, this is cute too. I'm not a big fan of purple, but I actually like this. I think it's so cute. But like I said, you could make it longer if you wanted. If you didn't want this part to show. But I'm not really self-conscious of my body. <laughs> I used to be when I was a teenager. But now that I'm older, I see things so much different now. That, uh, you know, this body grew two babies. <laughs> And I am overweight, but I am healthy. I don't have any health problems that aren't genetic. The only health problem I have is my clotting disorders, but those are genetic. If I was a size zero, I would still have those. So, um, I'm not worried about it. I'm healthy. I'm happy. And this is cute. I kind of feel like this is a little low. I don't know, but you can easily adjust that, you know. 
very simple. The only stitches is single crochet, half double crochet, chain, and more single crochet. Yeah, so it's really simple, really easy. And the other pattern, like I said, this is just like a chain single crochet mesh. But the other one they put out that I saw is like a fan stitch. It's really pretty. But I thought this was really cute. They have sizes extra small through extra large. And I made the extra large and I am a size 18-20 in real life. And my shirt size is like a, a 1X. So, um, it fit me. And, but it's super easy adjusted, I think. Because to make the the bodice, you just you make a really long chain and then you connect it to make a circle. Which I hate doing that. <laughs> but I did it anyways. Uh, so, all, if you want to make it bigger, you just have to make a bigger chain and like measure it to yourself. And then all this is just solid. I think this was a half double crochet, so I can't remember now. And then um, get it down to like the bottom of your rib cage, right here. And then you would start making the meshy stitch. <laughs> so you could really make this any size you want. Same with the straps, you can size them to the size you want them. Or you could leave them off, because it, it was also like a uh, tube top <laughs> without the straps. Uh, but I like it a lot, I think it's really cute. So I'll link the pattern down below and the hook that I used because I really like the soft gripped hooks. Those were gifted to me, gosh, two or three years ago. <laughs> and I absolutely love them. I use them all the time. Those in my Clever Moors are like my favorite hooks, I think. Um, I've never tried a tulip hook. I've heard they're good, but I don't know. We'll try one one of these days. But yeah, so this is such a cute top and I just wanted to share it with you guys. I was excited about it. And it only took me four days to make it. I started it on the 14th and I finished it today, the 18th. I could have finished it yesterday, but I have a baby, <laughs> so uh, she was a little bit needier yesterday than she normally is, you know. They have their moments, but I was just excited and I wanted to share it with you guys. I think it's so cute, and um, I have fallen in love with making wearables. See, when I first, uh, a few years ago, when I first started getting interested in wearables, I didn't want to make them because I, was, I always thought, well, I'll probably lose some weight, because I had that mindset still of, you know, I have to look a certain way. That comes from so much pressures. I, I realized, you know, I've been watching videos on TikTok about it and uh, people my age, we, when we were young in the early 2000s is when like Britney Spears and Paris Hilton and the Olsen twins were like anorexic. And that's what we were projected as being what women should look like. And that's why we were all so messed up in our heads about body positivity. So I've been trying so hard over the last few years to feel better about myself and just be happy. Cause you know, I'm gonna die one of these days and I don't wanna die depressed about my weight or starving <laughs> i want to die fat and happy <laughs> so uh, i'm trying to so that's when i started making sweaters last year i made i've made so far i've made three cardigans two cardigans one sweater and then this i've made some ponchos before uh and plenty of shawls and stuff so i'm just now i'm just gonna make stuff i'm just gonna make the stuff i want to make and wear it <laughs> i don't care if anyone else doesn't like the way i look in it it's up to me and my husband you know um, I'm happy with the way I look, my husband's happy with the way I look, and even Jesse, the other day, I, was, I said something, I don't even know what I said, I must have been talking about my weight, and he said, he said, I don't think you're fat, <laughs> he says, I think, uh, you're, you're skinny to me, and that just made me so happy, because, you know, he's, he sees me with love, and Devin sees me with love, and that's how I should see myself with love, instead of hating the way I look, that's just, you know, life is just too short to worry about that, so if that's what's holding you back, Make the, the wearable. <laughs> make the top. Buy the yarn and make the top. And uh, I think this yarn was actually gifted to me. It was either gifted to me or Devin bought it. I can't remember. <laughs> but, uh, which would count as a gift. But uh, I love it and I'm glad I made it. So anyways, I'm going to leave all the information about it down below if you want to check it out. And uh, if you want to make a wearable, just do it. My first wearable I ever made was the Everyday Cardigan by Sorella. And uh, I had to tweak it a lot. That's one thing about wearables because everybody's body is different. Even if you're the same size parts of you are different, you know, so you just, so you just have to be okay with tweaking patterns just a little bit and, um, you know, fudging it when you need to. <laughs> there's probably, you know, there's mistakes in everything I make, so I just hide them and go on with the laugh. <laughs> but anyways, I'll leave all this stuff down below and you guys can check it out and, um, if you make one, feel free to share it to me. Send it to me through email. I'd love to see it or on the Facebook group. Uh, or on Instagram. I'm on Instagram too. Any of those. If you want to send them to me, just uh, shoot over because I'd love to see it. And uh, it's just fun, you know, to see what other people make. But I'm going to hop off here because i got some more videos to film. I'll probably still be wearing this. But uh, the baby's asleep and Jesse's at my mom's today. So I'm taking advantage and I'm going to like bulk record. <laughs> so if you see me in this a lot or I might just be in my cami. Cause it's kind of hot in here. Um, yeah, we'll see. <laughs> but anyways, I'll see you in another video at some point. Bye guys.